There is no time or date that can be put on this. Everyone, in my opinion, already has contact. Whether it's through their dreams, whether it's through their ideas, their epiphanies, their concepts, information coming through. A lot of people couldn't handle it in a way that when you have intelligences that manifest out of thin air that are physical, or they're now operating in the 3D physics that they become physical, and I'll give you an example of this. Some of these intelligences can be meditating on another planet, even in another dimensional state. They can create a double of themselves, basically project their mind to where I am and have a physical replica of them manifest and interface with me to the point that I can touch them in their physical. Some of them can do that from their ship. So a lot of what people are interfacing with are what I would call masters from other worlds. They could do what Yeshua and other beings, so-called masters here, have been able to do, creating other forms of intelligences, you know, creating wine from water, things like that. These things are real if they understand that everything's one consciousness and how the mechanics of it work. Then you've got physical extraterrestrials. Now what I will say is extraterrestrials are the bottom 5% of existences, which includes us. And people go, hang on. Yes, a lot of these beings are what we could say is at a higher state of consciousness or more enlightened, it may seem. But you've got the same capability as they do to be as enlightened as them. And at the end of the day, we are all hitting this huge evolutionary state at the end when we choose the Andes to even become creator gods in the way that we divide off from this consciousness and create our own universe with its own planes and dimensions. Then you have physical extraterrestrials that we could say are in this bandwidth of consciousness that can land a craft, that can physically interface with us. So, can people deal with it? I think on a mass way, if it was introduced through mainstream of a topic meeting so people could adjust to something that looks different from us, what have you, they could deal with it. There is a lot of humans that can deal with it. But we're still in a situation where people will kill another or hate another because of the colour of their skin. You only interface with that which you have risen to the occasion to interface with. Most extraterrestrials are what we could say service to others. There is love, compassion, non-judgment. They get sick at the thought of negative thoughts. So unless you're frequency specific, not just individually, but on a collective level, a lot of contact will not unfold and take place, but you do not need governments or others to tell you that there is a bird on your front lawn if there's a bird on your front lawn. Do you need to ring up the government, get on the phone and call them up and go, hello, can you tell me if there's a bird on my front lawn? I can see it, but I need your confirmation there's a bird on my front lawn. It's a similar scenario and everything is within you to answer that question. But having your own contact is where this lies. And this isn't about a third dimensional contact. I'm talking a multi-dimensional contact within that when you interface with these intelligences, they're going within as well. They're still on what we could say is the ascension path, even though they might be in the Pleiades, Orion, Arcturus, Andromeda, wherever. They're still in an evolutionary process state and they see us as their younger brothers and sisters. And unless we rise to the occasion as a collective, that's what's going to delay this unfoldment. It can happen exponentially quick if we all join together overnight. And so this is where it's best to be done in a spiritual way, but not giving your power over. As soon as there is, this is our ways, this is how it's done, there is going to be some form of alteration to that culture and society. We want it to be done at a place where we empower ourselves and don't trust any extraterrestrial race, even if they are positive or seem positive. That's when humanity lose their ways because they're giving their power or looking up to another. They're giving that power and their energy over to another source. So it's like expecting somebody else to fix the situations going on here or that they've got a better way. Humans are quite capable and quite smart beings. 
So this is where we need to do this ourselves. When will it occur? It could occur any moment. Any moment. We're seeing now the Pentagon dropping stuff all the time. So we're seeing signs of this being prepared for the human race. But to give a time and date or a year, no. It's when the energies align for that.